this is Robert Estrin with livingpianos.com and virtualsheetmusic.com with a viewer question. What is the difference between New York and Hamburg Steinway? That is such a great question and gives a little historical perspective for you. Steinway was actually started by German immigrants in New York and later they opened a factory in Hamburg, Germany. Pianos have been made in both locations for over a hundred years. Now, for the most part, these pianos are incredibly similar. Uh, most of the models they make in both locations. As a matter of fact, today, almost all the pianos are the same models in both New York and Hamburg, but it has not always been that way. Let me give you a little bit of background. The Steinway in New York has the model S, which is the 5-1, then they move to the M, which I'm sitting in front of right now, which is the 5-7. And then for many years in New York was the model L at 5, 10 and a half, but in Hamburg, Germany, they had the model O at the same size, 5, 10 and a half. Earlier in the 20th century, there was the model O also made in New York, and they switched to the L. Just recently, they've made only the O, and the L has been discontinued. This is a lot of information for you, isn't it? And moving up the line, there's a model uh, A, which has uh, just started being made again in New York. It wasn't made there. It was made in Germany all these years. It wasn't made in New York since the turn of the 20th century. And finally, we get to the model B, which is made in both New York and Hamburg, and the model C, which is a seven and a half foot, which is only made in Hamburg to this day. Why? I have no idea. And the D, the concert grand, which is just under nine feet, made in both locations. So that's the models. Essentially, they're pretty much all the same today. There's some little differences along the way. Now, what about if there was a model B made in New York or made in Hamburg, are they at all different? Well, they're basically fundamentally the same, but there are some differences you should know about. Perhaps the most fundamental difference is the actions. New York makes their own actions, whereas Hamburg Steinways choose to use Renner. Renner, the great German company that makes actions for many pianos like Busendorfer and others, uh, is that's what's used in the Hamburg Steinways. Where in New York they have their own, which means that you get certain unique Steinway design elements like their accelerated action, which is not available on the Hamburg Steinways. Now, are there any other substantial differences? Well, the soundboards tend to be just a little fatter on the Hamburg Steinways, so the tone is a little bit uh, more subdued. It, takes a, it can take a little more energy, a little bit different, but you know what? To my uh, playing, I think the difference between Hamburg and New York Steinways is more the individual piano, because there is variance. Many people feel that the quality of manufacturing in Hamburg is uh, a couple of notches superior to New York overall. However, if you have first-class technicians prepping your piano, that difference becomes quite negligible. So the pianos come out of the factory on a higher level in Hamburg than they do in New York generally. Generally, the New York pianos, it's left up to the dealers to do the final preparation, which is why you'll find great variants of Steinways from dealer to dealer and from piano to piano uh, here in this country, in North America in general. So, fundamentally the scale designs are really, really the same by and large with minor differences that I think the difference between one piano to the next is probably more substantial than to generalize about all the pianos coming out of Hamburg compared to all the pianos coming out of New York. Great question. I really appreciate it. Thanks for joining me. Robert Estrin at virtualsheetmusic.com and livingpianos.com. I'll see you next time.